now we have a new part for the uh, Kelly's Hero Jeep and it's the trailer, the M100. I've cut the seal so it's easy to get out. There as it is, in this little plastic house. It comes with four screws and the frame. Um, there's not a lot to the to it to put together. Um, so let's do that. All it does is push on and four screws. I love these little bays you can't get open. They don't take a lot to go in. Now, I'm not going to do a lot with it at the moment because most of the pictures you look at of it, it um, just has a tarpaulin on the back and it does have all the hooks for a hook down on the top so I'll see what I can make and then we'll put that on. But it's quite nice. It's bigger than you f you realise, you know. Once you uh, get it out, it's quite it's quite large. There's a little box on the front. More bits, but um, looking around, it's like it's what what I decide to do. I'm not gonna, like I said. I'm not going to repaint it because I can't see the point. Because um, I'm not modding it, and I think it won't look too off the Jeep colour anyway. I think this is lighter than what mine originally was. Now, for making the tarp cloth for the trailer, I'm cutting down a piece of pillowcase. Cheap ones you can buy down your supermarket. I never use expensive material. And the way I'm marking this out is upside down and the width of the ruler to give a size. I've already cut two sides, so it's just a case of marking the final one. 
in a couple of places. And then I've got a rotary cutter for cloth. These are quite good, these are. I'm still learning how to use it. I've had it for years, but you know it is, you never get down to always using it. And uh, all you do is you lay your ruler on your marks and then put the cutter up against the ruler and just run it. And you have to admit that does cut very neatly. I did pre-press the material but now we've got the material I want and got to decide how I'm going to shape it next. Because I'm thinking of doing diagonals on the corner so it has like a diagonal on the edge. Um, if that makes sense. Sort of trim it down but uh, fold it over and then there'll be a secondary fold for the other part for the drop down. Now I've got it roughly lined up so what I'm going to do is mark a across the corner here and here just short of the point um, and then what I'm going to do is cut these two corners off and glue them so I want a bit of oh, sort of fold over for the gluing so it's just deciding how much? I'm just going to leave about four or five millimeters. Get it the right way round. Will help. Would help if I didn't have all glue on me cutting board. Being truthful. Now I'm going to fold it to that mark I've made and try and get it straight. See, like, like so. And then I'm going to tack it with some super glue. This one still works. So we'll try again, tacking it. So sometimes it sticks well and then other times the cloth doesn't stick well. That's weird.
on that weird that's gone better there we go we've got two corners tacked now we'll do line it up for the other two Fairly should be is if we line it up at the back. Yeah, I've been a bit overzealous. But the great thing is I can move it over a bit and then knock it out of line. Let's to do that again. So we want it a little bit looser, hopefully. But I'm not going to show you the cutting the corners and doing it because it's the same as what I've just done. Now I've folded the cloth round, all the way round, and trying to get it to stick. I'm not having much luck with that glue, but um, I might try something else in a sec. Because I want it a good hard edge on, on it, because I want to pop holes through it. Um, so I might just use some white glue on the inside. Because it doesn't matter, it's going to be painted, so what it is is to form it. But well, what the general idea is, you'll see now, is where we've pleated it at the sides, it will fit to the corner and then we'll have an overlap each side, which we can do the tie down bits through, if you get my gist, and we'll hold it down that way. So I'm going to glue around the edge and hopefully get it to uh, dry, but I'm just going to use some plain white glue, cheap white glue on the inside just to make it rigid on that point and then what I might do is I might paint all but the centre for now uh, so it um, can fold when it's um, a bit easier when it's dry with paint and that way I can shape it completely to the frame and that's what I hope to do and then get the holes in it, get it tied down, but I will tie it over cling film and then when I paint the centre it won't get on this. Well that's what I, my idea is. Now I've mixed up a paint, it's khaki and a couple of other army colours to give me plenty of paint otherwise one pot is not enough. It's thinned down a lot and uh, it will almost, almost match the seat in. I don't know what the correct colour is, but I'm not too fussed. But what I want to do is paint far enough in. So, so it works. What I want to be where the paint dries and I can fold it, like I said. One side's done. Doesn't take long, but um, I'm not going to go for all painting all the way around. So it's not that interesting. Now I've got the cover on, it's a lot drier now. And what I've got to do now is start folding it along its edges.
There we go, there's two sides done. Now we've got to line it up this side. Pretty pleased with that, we've got it pretty well lined up. And now we've got to consider is the holes for the tie down. If you can see, we've got one in the middle at the back. So we need something we can mark well with. So we want it about a hole about there and there oh, slightly off so we need the hole punch or the hole cutter um, don't want the holes too big I'm gonna go Three millimeter. God, I couldn't have made a bigger hash of it, could I? How did I get that so far off? Oh well, slight adjustment. Put them towards the front. Yeah, we've got the same on the front, the same hook. So, what we'll do is we'll transfer the marks to the back. Only better this time. And then we've got a hook here. So if we say each end, we need one above the line. That's why I'm going to go. and get this right. Oh, you can't see that, what I'm doing. Doing these ones first. So 
So we've got four there. And then on the corresponding here, we're going to want them as well. to cut the holes The last two on the corners. There we go. And then on the sides, here we're going to have to have them come out. So So we, we've got to sort of, I'm going to go with the bar in the middle, do the same this end. So we know it's going to come out loop under, loop back for them two. So if I sort of say about there on each one, what distance is that? So we've got these extra holes now. There we go, that's one side. So we'll transfer it to the other. Like I said, we got the reference for the holes to this line here. And this one here. And like I said, the high technical side of finger. Do the other holes. And that will be all of them. Because, like I said, you've got the corner ones to those, and then the rest. So there we go, we've got somewhere to tie it all the way around. And now I've got to find something to string it with. Right, I'm just about to start threading. I've put a, the first loop in and I'm just going to do the corners to get it started. Um, I don't know where I'm doing this right or what. Oh, wrong way. This is one thing you're going to be doing if you're doing this. You're going to be taking it out, put it back in, back in and out.
see. So if you look, you can see it's behind. And then we can hook it under, uh, just run under the corner, past the corner. And then out through, the, in through the hole. See, so it's, it is going to be a case of pulling it and getting it to fit. Okay. But I'm going to speed things up for you. And you'll see it when it's sort of held in place. So I've got it tacked and then I can do the painting with the cling film. I'll show you that bit. There you go, it's roped all the way round. As you can see, you can see why I wanted to do it like this. Now I'm going to loosely take it off and fit the cling film. But like I said, the rope is long enough to do to tie it off. But that's the basis of the cover. But having a hole punch does make it easy to do. And uh, like I said, it shouldn't take too long to paint up now. I just realised I was going to make it harder for myself with the cling film when I could just do it with masking tape. You know, it's um, a lot simpler. So it might get painted more once I've got it in, got, got it mainly done. just in case it drips through the cloth some crappy kitchen towel should suffice inside that should do then we put the cover back on and like I said I'm only going to be painting the centre to get that to shrink into shape that's the idea.
there we go it's had a full cut of paint over the main part now and I've retightened really the string to hold it in place so we'll just leave that to cure um, overnight and then if I think it needs more colouring I've got enough paint left to uh, put some in an airbrush and give it a blast over just to coat it for colour but I will say to make a one of these the amount of paint you go for is, is a lot so you've got to allow that whatever you mix up colour wise it's got to be two pots of Tamiya and um, thin down so it goes way further but don't go too mad with the thinners I think I added four caps of thinner from the Tamiya thinner jar and I put a couple of well, I used a couple of different colours to save using all my paints up. Um, uh, I put a couple of screws in the jar so you can shake it to mix. So it mix night, mixes the colour together well. But uh, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm just going to, like I said, leave it. And hopefully it will go tighter overnight as this shrinks. Now the cover's dried overnight and it's quite tall. So that's not bad at all. I'm just going to reinforce the holes because a couple of them are gone weak. We're putting tension with the cold. Um, I'm going to glue some plastic behind and then re-punch the holes. And that should help. But we're almost there. Now, adding the tape underneath proved a good idea because we, because it's bean cloth you do get bleed through. It only takes a couple of seconds to peel it off. And there's no paint anywhere. So I'm pleased with that. So there we go. Oops. The trailer is finished. It's not perfect. Um, got it slightly off one side. Should, it's, it's still, it's, even though it's dry, and I've just painted it with the airbrush, it will, it should hopefully go just a little bit taller. Um, I'm happy with it, considering it's only a piece of um, um, uh, pillar case, a bit of cold, and a few little bits of plastic to reinforce the holes. That's what's caused that, I put it slightly too high. I think they'll look good behind the Jeep with the rest of it. <laughs>